Hi there folks, my name's Richard Tell. I'm one of the leaders at Mickfield Evangelical Church and we're taking a look this week at five reasons why Jesus is for the public benefit. We've had to show and demonstrate that as a church we are for the public benefit to, to become a charity uh, and there's a debate or ongoing discussion around the, the benefits of a church is gathering again for public worship. We're not talking about that today but we're talking about the public benefit of Jesus himself and today we're looking at the whole idea of public harmony. Uh, we live in a world of division don't we? A, a divisive world and we all long for unity within that world of division uh, and Jesus brings all sorts of things to that discussion. Right from the beginning of the Bible we have the idea that all people are made in the image of God and therefore all people are equal in worth and dignity and should be treated with great respect. This is one of the great social levelers which has given us a, 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 an understanding of equality and, and democracy in our society. Uh, the, the, the biblical vision of God, the vision of God which Jesus has given us is that of a trinity, one God in three persons. So diversity and distinctions but a fundamental unity, a, a harmony, if you like, of three persons. Uh, the early church understood the church as a body with many parts. Unity uh, of a one part, uh, the body, uh, but many distinct parts are doing different things, having different functions, but working together in the unity of one body. Uh, Martin Luther King picked up on that whole, whole idea uh, of the uh, people made in the image of God and the, the equality amongst all people uh, in his battle uh, in the civil rights movement. Uh, Christians, according to Jesus, are also to submit to the government, to be peaceable, to be good neighbours, to be peacemakers, to forgive quickly and to listen well. Now, all sorts of people have these values, not just Christians, of course. But where did these values come from? Well, as, as Tom Holland, the historian Tom Holland has shown, these values largely did not come from the ancient pagan world. They exhibited the exact opposite of those values. Now, these values came from Jesus and they've been transmitted into the Western world via the Bible and Christian practices. These ideas and practices are for the public benefit. They promote public harmony. They don't come from ancient paganism and largely speaking they don't come from modern secularism though many secular people embody these values. Now these values come from Jesus of Nazareth and they are for public harmony. They are for the public benefit.